Hello, I said that I would start actually doing Thus Saith the Lord via camera so you can I honestly have something to play over and over again and see the intensity of it as well. And I, I was driving today and thus said the Lord, God said, Deanna, tell my people to stop being so frustrated. Tell my people to stop focusing on what they're seeing. Stop focusing on what you're hearing in the spirit from the enemy. The enemy tells you lies. Remember, he's the father of lies. So he's going to repeat that lie over and over again. It's called a tormenting spirit. But thus said the Lord, you have to understand that you have the victory. You have to repeat Luke 10 and 19. It says that you have all power over the enemy. You might have to recite it yourself. You know, everything in the Bible was given to us for an example. It wasn't just a group of stories that we're supposed to be intrigued by. It was examples on this is the way we do it. This is the way you should do it. We have to encourage ourselves sometimes. There's going to be tests. There's going to be trials. There are going to be tribulations. I guarantee you. But you can overcome it, thus saith the Lord. You have overcome it in the spirit realm. You see, you're trying to be a human having a spiritual experience. And you have to understand. You are a spirit first having a human experience. This was only supposed to be temporary and it only is temporary because we all know that we're in the book of revelations. We know that we're in the end times. You have to come up, get in your word, go to that threshing floor. You have to fight the good fight of faith. You can't give up. You can't give out. You can't whine. You can't complain. I mean, it does no good at the end of the day. And then you feel all discouraged once you get you say all that because now you're repeating. You see, everybody has to give the prophecy. You may not be a, a prophet by the office 24-7, but everybody has to give the prophecy because you belong to your father God. He spoke this world into existence. He speaks it into existence. Proverbs 18-21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. What are you speaking? I don't care what's going on around you because the enemy, he, he tries to do a smoke screen. He tries to give fear. He tries to endorse fear. And that's when you got to come back with faith. Oh, I shall not walk by sight, but I shall walk by faith, said the Lord. I should not be moved by what people say, do, don't do, and don't say. But I shouldn't be moved by the Spirit of God. What has he told you? What has he showed you? Thus said the Lord, you have to be strong. Have you not commanded you? Joshua 1, 8. Have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage? That lets you know. And he said, then you will make your way prosperous. Come on, body of Christ. This is not the time to get weak. This is not the time to get teary. This is not the time to walk in fear. This is the time to push. This is the time to come up warrior status. This is the time to say, okay, I understand who I am and whose I belong to, which is the Father God. And if you are made in the image of God, we know that God is all powerful, all knowing, and all supernatural. So that means that you are your father's child. Act like it, walk like it, be like it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Stir up yourself. David, encourage yourself. You're going to have to encourage yourself sometimes. You're not going to have a, a, a cheerleading team all the time. And a real Christian understands this. A true Christian understands this. See, anytime you have to be validated over and over again, you better check your foundation. Because that means you're worried about people. But when you have a foundation of God, I don't care who stay. I don't care who go. I don't care who leave me. I don't care who. Oh, come on, somebody. You understand that it was God and God alone. That's where the glory comes from, God. So this thus said the Lord is, God says, be encouraged, be strong. Speak the promise and not the problem. Understand who you are. You have victory. It's done. It's over with. Yes, the, the smoke screen is going to come because that's what the devil do. Fear, remember? False evidence appearing real. It ain't even real. It's not real at all because God has said it. And if God said it, that settles it. And he will do what he has told you. I have never seen the righteous forsaken or begging bread. That's what David said. And I can tell you, I, oh, just in my life alone. I don't care how hard it got. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they did. I've never seen God forsaken anybody and me as well. You hold on. You be strong. Trouble don't last long. He never said it was going to be easy, but he did say that he'll be with you. He'll guide you. He'll keep you. He'll see you through. Hallelujah. 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 So be encouraged. God says, God bless you. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon.